So I'm here outside the main entrance to Everything Electric Sydney. Uh, we've had an amazing show here. One of the questions that occasionally comes up at events like this is how long will these fancy electric cars last? And I'm here next to something most of you will recognise. This is a Tesla Model S made in 2018. But it's not just any old Tesla Model S. This one is a bit special. Like fully charged? You'll love our fun-packed Everything Electric Expos around the world. Come and join us in Harrogate, Farnborough and Vancouver. Remember, energy and transport professionals go for free. And I'm joined today by Nigel Reynard. Nigel, thank you for, for joining me. Thank you this for is, I just us. want to get the basic stats of this car. So yeah. tell us how far it's gone in its total life so okay. far. So, so far it's done 707,000 kilometers. 707,000 kilometers. And we just managed to work that out, <laughs> that that isn't quite to the moon and back, Not but quite. it's to the moon and you're re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. So it's quite a long way. And now, and now one of the questions is always about the batteries. And yeah. So is this the original battery that the car came with when um, you got it? Luckily it's not. So right. it has an eight year infinite kilometer warranty, which I'm certainly testing you out. You um, definitely test that. And so I was hoping that I wouldn't get to eight years in two months and the battery would fail. But what right. actually happened is I had an error code on the battery at 666,000 kilometers. Six, so, so the original battery did yeah. 600, I just want, I've got to underline mm. this, forgive me, yeah. 666,000 kilometers, yeah. which is about half a million miles. Yeah, I, I was roughly. actually coming back from Brisbane with a client and it, it hit 666,666, right. 666. <laughs> so even sixes. That is slightly yeah. worrying in a way. Yeah, yeah. and I, I had an error message and so the right. error message was indicating reduced charging ability right and so I, I checked. so the battery it didn't the car didn't stop didn't break down it was no, still no, working what was happening with the battery is i was getting reduced power at very low kilometers so right. when i was around 40 50 kilometers it was indicating like there was something wrong with the cells right so when i checked that in with service um they gave me the option they had just announced battery upgrades to right. a 90 kilowatt and i was very interested in that and yeah. as it was over twenty thousand dollars i armed an ard yeah. and then looked at it in the app and i said what about a warranty battery and you actually receive a refurbished battery right. a warranty unit. And I uh, came back several days later and they had upgraded to a brand new pack. Wow. And I guess they didn't have any refurbished any packs refurbished with high kilometers. And wow. uh, yeah, that it was really great. And then since you've got it, since that's happened then, so yeah. for the last couple hundred thousand kilometers you've done in it, it's like it's a new, yeah. well, it's, it's, it's full range This, was, this was only a few months ago, so right. I've done 40,000 Ks. Right, so with, I, I with did, the new one. Yeah, yeah, I did 800 Ks today coming down here. Yes. So yeah. Um, <laughs> It's generally about five, six hundred kilometres a day. Right. Yeah. So wow. It's, um, and it's, so then when, uh, what, what the intriguing things with that in then is uh, what, uh, what's your regular charging pattern? Are you using... Um, not following anything really right. in particular. We have free energy um, during the middle of the day at our home. So we right. have a couple of Model Ys. And so we generally try and use the w one car that's full in the morning, have right. a car on the free charging. Right. And then we do swapping of, of cars. And when you say free charging, it's presumably your own solo that's it's, doing No, this. no, no, it's, ah. it's, it's actually with Origin. Origin, ah. they have a 360 plan. So if you have an EV registered at the address, you can have free. So from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, we have two fast chargers and we just swap just cars. Swap car. And then you get a clean car rather than yeah. picking people up in a car that you quickly have to wipe over. Yes, yeah. But I, I generally do fast charging, DC charging, right. the, the Tesla network. So this would have been charged with fast charging regularly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. yeah. Every day, several times a day. Right. And to 100%. Wow. Yeah. So, and then running it down very low. So I haven't followed any particular practice. I've right. been kind of avoiding the internet and all of the misinformation <laughs> yes. and I've just been out there doing it. So you're, well, you're doing your and, job. Yeah, yeah, and it's been, you know, it's become a fun thing because lots of clients that are in the car, you're driving along and they start parroting things they've heard and yeah, they yeah. say things like, oh, you wouldn't want to drive around Australia in this. And I say, oh, actually, there's a guy at the moment from Western Australia it's always, isn't it? and Harold's just driven around in 10 days and right. they go, oh, but it wasn't in a Tesla, was it? And yes, it yeah, was. So yeah. yeah, it's just improving the infrastructure constantly. And yeah. so the charging is not something I think too much about. Right. People do discuss it, but it's yeah. not, not my focus. No, but then presumably there's other thing. And what about the rest of the car? I mean, aside from the battery, um, you know, it's a car that's done a lot of miles. So if well, you had I to think, replace other things. I think I just booked my fifth service. Right. So originally I was around 200,000 kilometers and I was wondering why there was no service and yeah. things like the brake pads and my brake pads were changed at 460,000 kilometers and they weren't actually changed because they were making any noise they were changed because they were doing an air conditioning compressor at tesla and i said oh can you look at the brakes and they're like oh, you may as well do the brakes now right and so wow. things sorry to repeat because people go on and yeah. on about how the brakes so they brakes 
460,000 kilometres and they did the front pads and, and the discs, which wow. they do generally on cars these days. Yeah. They do them both at the same time. Yeah. But, I've, but I've, those pads have lasted a hell of a lot longer yeah. than they would on a car. similar size combustion car would yeah. have got through pads in less than half of yeah. that. Well, I've story. always driven a lot. And so my partner actually, Louise, started the business and she's had a couple of Mazdas and they've right. hit 300,000 Ks and you go to the dealership and they offer you $2,000 for your $50,000 car. Right. So I've, I've been through a lot of vehicles, yes. not in the business, but so to have a car where you have minimal um, moving parts. And yeah. I think I learned that from looking at a company in California, Tesla. Yes. And my mum used to live in California. Right. And so I was very interested in Tesla and I thought, well, well I'll buy a Tesla. Yeah. Uh, it was very hard to afford the Tesla. Yes. Um, in, uh, in Australia, very, yeah, uh, uh, definitely. This lot, is definitely not a, cheap car. No here. incentives back then. No. A, a lot of luxury car tax yeah. and uh, stamp duty and all of that, but yeah. it's paid off. And right. um, the, the most uh, re rewarding thing about driving people in the car is the conversations because you don't yeah. want to come across and say, oh, your nice Mercedes or your vehicle yeah. that they love is a bad choice, but you just want to say this car has minimal work moving parts. Yeah. This is my experience and there's charging here and yeah. most of the people that get them charge them at home. So yes. yeah. um, the whole conversations that I hear daily are not my experience. Yes. And I'm doing these insane kilometers yes. each week. It's incredible. It's yeah, incredible. So. Oh, well, thank, I mean, thank you so much for driving it down and bringing it here today. It's such a Oh, well, you know, thank it's you. Such a, well, it's such a just you don't have to argue about it. It's just uh, this is a car. This is how far it's yeah. done. It's you know they they last longer. They go further. Yeah. Kind yeah, of well, end of conversation, really, isn't it? Thank yeah. you for the opportunity and for the parking in Sydney. Yeah, you no, don't there get you any go. better than this. We've supplied <laughs> you with easy parking. Yeah, thank you so much, Nigel. Really welcome. good to meet you. Thank really you very much. You.